This project is a frisbee and we can explore using the revolve feature to create round parts. When creating a revolve feature, my sketch usually consists of a, a half section profile of the object built with a, a vertical or horizontal axis that will become the center of my revolution. I've started a new part studio in millimeters. I'm going to start a new sketch and put this on the front sketch plane. I'm going to draw a line that will define the width of half of the object. It's going to be coincident to the origin and I'm going to make this 120 millimeters long. I want another line that is vertical to the origin and comes across and this one's going to be 80. And I'm going to dimension the distance from this endpoint to the origin for the height of our frisbee at 35. Now the curve on the outside edge of my frisbee I'm going to look under arc and use the conic construction. My first endpoint will be the end of this line and my second endpoint will be the end of this line. And then I can stretch this out until I see a uh, horizontal projection and I want this to be an RHO of 0.5 which will make this a parabolic curve. So I'll hit enter to accept that. And I want this to have, I'll use my dimension tool to dimension this parabolic curve of having a arc of 70. To create that arc parabolic curve that makes the edge. Now this has a thickness of 3 millimeters, so I'm going to use an offset and I'm going to offset this line going down. I'll drag it down and double click and say three millimeters. And I'm going to offset my curve doing the same thing. I want it to be this way. I want it to be three millimeters. And I can drag that out so that I can see it better. Now down here on this edge we have a line that's going to be coincident to this bottom line and coincident to the arc. I'm not sure what the length of that line is but I know that dimension from this edge to this point is going to be four millimeters and the angle of this line to this bottom edge is going to be 95 degrees. And to close this region or profile, I need to draw a line here on this end. So we'll close that up and I see that that becomes shaded. Lastly, I'm going to need uh, an axis for revolve. So I'm going to take a line, make this a construction line, start at the origin, and make that a vertical line from the origin that I can use as my axis. With these this much done, I'm going to accept the sketch. And at this point, I can choose Revolve from the Feature menu. This is going to be new solid. I'll choose this profile. It wants to know my revolve axis. I'm going to choose that center line that I just put in. And you can see that this is revolved around that center point. So I'll accept this uh, feature. And I'm going to add a couple of fillets. Uh, I'll use my fillet tool. I want this to be a one millimeter fillet and we'll put it on this outside edge and this inside edge along the bottom to break that square edge on the frisbee and we'll go ahead and accept that. 
Now, if I want to see what this profile actually looks like that was created, I can use a section view. I'm going to click on the front plane and view normal, and you can see what the section view of our frisbee looks like. So that looks like what I was trying to accomplish. I'm going to cancel that, turn off the planes, and view isometric, and our part is done.